Good morning, YouTubers, friends, followers, but mainly to the subscribers. Thank you all very much for continuing to support my channel. It means a lot. And I'm not that long out of bed. Lovely cup of coffee. I hope you're all having a cup of coffee. What is it? It's Sunday. The Lord's Day, as it's known. Right. I've had lots of emails coming in. Again, listen, I can't get back to them all. I keep telling people... I can't reply to all the emails. I would just spend all day doing it. So I sit down. I look at what the topics are. I do write. Look, I've got notes. See this here? Exactly. So what I do is I look at the emails you send me. And I write down the topics that you all discuss. And it's always the same stuff. I'm going to be honest. It's always about Harry and Meghan and the book and this and that. Some about politics. Others about NHS. Others about the police. Somebody said, uh, and I will mention this. Trevor, you don't support the police. And the truth is, listen, I know the police have a hard job. I don't support the way they go about things at the minute. And you know what? It's just weird because whenever you have a platform like YouTube and you have thousands of people that listen to you and watch you, right? The police then put you uh, as some like high profile. So whenever you say something and it offends someone, I've had the police knocking at my door before because of something I and they said it was a hate crime and I had to sit and school the police about what is a hate crime and what is not and I had to show them proof that I wasn't actually disparaging a whole community of Afghans and Muslims I had to tell them what I had experienced over nearly two and a half years working in Afghanistan and what happens every Thursday night and it's not until you explain to them this that it's not classed as a hate crime I've educated them so I'm not happy with the way they behave okay so there we go um the NHS, well, uh, it's been proven now that, uh, yes, we know the NHS is in bits. Everyone blames the Conservative government. No one's blaming the directors of each hospital uh, who are wasting millions of pounds. No one's blaming them. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Right. It's now been proven that if the NHS, sorry, that's wrong. It's now been proven that if the Labour Party were in government, the NHS would be worse off. Because I'll tell you why, and listen. We know that the Conservative Party have failed. But we also know that Labour Party would be worse. Because Labour Party would endorse. Labour Party wouldn't. What they want with refugees, asylum seekers, they would open the doors for more to come. Adding pressure to the NHS, even more than it has, okay? So there we go. Labour's not the way forward, but neither is Conservatives. We need something alternative, okay? I'll move on from that. What else are we saying here? Uh, 13,000, listen to this, 13,000 asylum seekers have been waiting for up to 10 years to be processed. That's shocking. That's a shocking failure. Our country has failed. It's failed the taxpayers. Hmm. What else? Uh, there's a luxury shop, won't say where it is, that sells... Beautiful watches, watches worth up to a million pounds, sells them all to premiership footballers and you see them all. Uh, I will mention one that I've seen this morning, Alan Shear standing there in the shop with his watch on. They're all standing with watches on. Well, when you're selling watches worth hundreds of thousands of pounds, in my opinion, there's something going wrong there to a certain degree because... If you're not a main shop and you're not advertised all over social media and no one knows where your shop is and you're keeping it low key, then it's, it's for a reason. Well, the shop in question has just been raided by armed police because it's now part of a money laundering probe. So I hope none of the footballers are involved in that, let's just say. And what else, people? Well, you've asked it, I'll say it. Harry, yeah, Harry. People say, oh, Trevor, why do you talk about Harry? I'll tell you why I talk about him. Because people keep sending me stuff about him. And I talk about him. But if you've noticed, my language has changed. I'm not aggressive. I don't... I have to tone it down in order to remain on this platform. Right, listen to this. He has stated in a live interview, people heard it, it's on the media now, that he wants to try and rescue... He wants to try and we rescue William and Kate, the Prince and Princess of Wales' children. He wants to try and bring them up 
in a way that they understand the changes. That doesn't make sense. Uh, however, what is coming out, and this is a fact for my human YouTube reviewer, this is a fact. William is said to be grieving the loss of his brother. Grieving. But Harry's alive. So does this mean that William has decided to realise his brother is dead to him? Maybe that's the best way. But I have really good news this morning. Uh, really good news. Over the last week, um, I put out a poll. I put out a poll on Twitter. Um, the poll on Twitter, uh, I think over 150,000 people read it. Uh, 6,000, maybe 7,000 people have shared it. Um, I don't know, I think 10. I can't remember if it was 10 or whatever, but thousands of people have liked it and shared it. It's made the papers. It's made the papers. Uh, I did a tweet a while ago, made the papers. I spoke to the media. It was in the middle pages of the people. And it was on the front page of, of, of many papers. And guess what? Military, senior military staff have now jumped in to this circle. And there's now questions to remove Harry as his role at the Invictus Games. So, do you know what, everyone? Pat yourselves on the back. Thanks for your support. At the end of the day, um, doesn't matter what people have achieved in their life. We have thousands of injured, wounded veterans coming together in Germany, coming together wherever they're coming together, and they do not need more triggers for PTSD. Many of them have got through this in the past. They still suffer life-changing injuries, and what they want to be able to do is go to the games without without that worry that there may be a terrorist attack on the games to try and get at somebody who's mouthing off about the Taliban. So, do you know what? Uh, it's a great move. Uh, don't not, I do not know who will fill his shoes in that role, uh, but I'm sure whoever gets selected will do a fantastic job and they'll get all our support. So, thank you very much. Let's keep moving forward. Um, thanks to those of you who do uh, donate a pound a month to my PayPal. It's in the description of this video. And uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, why not? It's free. Take care.